What is up guys, the LA Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 14 of my MLB 17 The Show, Road to the Show series. Now, in the last episode, uh, we played against this random Penascula Blue Wahoos team. We're now currently sitting at 45 and 20, uh, quite noticeably atop of our division. We already clinched a division spot, actually, it appears. Best record in the uh, AA. It, it, who cares, though? It's AA. Nobody's really that excited about it. And then our Braves team... Obviously, we haven't been called up yet. They're now looking to be 24 and 41. So, it appears at this period of time that we are not looking to be in a playoff position this year. Um, which is a little disappointing. But what I said in the last episode, what I'm going to show you guys is we're going to send through this Montgomery Biscuit series. And we're going to be playing in that All-Star game. So, let's see. Oh, I need to check real quick. Um, the arm strength should be declining any second now. So, I don't want it to, to drop any lower than it has to. Just waiting for that to go away. Just waiting for it to give me a chance to actually upgrade the arm strength. I've been saving up these points. Um, let's check, though, how our guy did in that little stretch that we just simmed. Right there, one for four. This game, one for three. The walk. This game, two for four with a home run. This game, one for four with an A. Oh, not an error. That's how I committed the error. I almost shot myself in the face. Six assists and three putouts. This has two assists and four putouts. So we had a lot of chances there. Um, then obviously, I don't even think we need to check. Uh, not awards. We need to check. If we check all-star voting, I'm, I'm pretty sure we probably got this locked down. Yeah, by about 400,000 votes. So we just barely got that first place spot here. Because, um, I mean, look, we're leading in like every single category besides stolen bases. Because some of these dudes just have some crazy speed. Um... But let's move on here and All-Star game. Or we're batting third in the All-Star game. We are like 20 or 30 overalls higher than everyone else. Which gives you the reason to like just question why we're still in double A. But um, I guess we get no say in any of this. So here's a look at the pitching matchup. We're going to be against Dave Grubb. A and two record at 2.67 ERA, which is so frightening considering he's... It's like, I, I don't get scared at all. Like, this dude could have a have a 0, 0.00 ERA and win 20 games in a row, and I still wouldn't be worried because it's a double-A matchup. And I've, my guy just has been raking against every single double-A pitcher. That's why I just... This is our first chance actually to be in a major league ballpark. And that's what I'm most excited for. You see right here... Top of the first... It looks like we're playing in the Cincinnati Reds ballpark. So here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a good feeling. Just finally being in the MLB ballpark, making a play on an MLB field. That's what it's all about right now. Our first taste. Yeah, Great American Ballpark. This is the Red Ballpark. Our first taste of actually uh, kind of touching Major Leagues. I want to get a hit here in the Major League game, though. Not really Major League game, but in Major League Ballpark. Not going to get a hit there on that first half, though. This, like I said, I'm not really worried about any pitchers. But these guys do have very good records and ERAs on the season, so they probably are pretty good, even at the double-A level. Another play here at shortstop, proving that worked. We're a uh, top-tier fielding shortstop here. Now I want to emphasize in this episode, all I will be bringing you guys is this short or is this uh, All-Star game. So it's a pretty short episode. I uh, just wanted to quickly throw one out there for you guys. Um, getting a lot of chances here on the field, though. Another hit over to shortstop. Fire that one over to first, and that's another easy 16 training points. And let's keep moving on. Once again on the defensive end, this time a double play opportunity. Don't know what's uh, causing us to have so many fielding opportunities, but I don't mind it. Oh, here we go. This put me in the MLB, coach. This is why he put me in the MLB. Oh, I thought he was out at first. 46 training points for that play. If we had double boost, then that would have been 92 training points. Why did we get 46 points for one play? Ooh, that, okay, that was a close play at first. Now, bottom of the fourth, we're down 3-0. to zero. But a chance here to finally get our first hit of the game. And you know what? Let's make it a big one. Will that be... Oh, that'll be fouled by just a few feet. I was going to say, I did not think I put enough pop in that for it to actually be a home run. That's too bad. We're going up against the lefty right here. 
And this is the matchup we want. For some reason, lefties, we've been absolutely cranking against the season. And we might keep that going here. We will. That ball is going to be out of the ballpark. That first swing wasn't a home run, but this one will be. Wasn't a no-doubter, but 56 training points for that swing. I'm thinking they got to be giving us some, some extra training points right here because it doesn't make sense that we're getting that many points for just a normal home run swing. Um, so I'm assuming it's a double boost game just because it's, it's an all-star game. I have to assume. I, I mean, I have to assume. 56 training points, that would mean if it was double boost, that'd be 112 training points. That would just not make any sense. That'd be way too high. Okay. 112 points for one swing. Could you imagine? But uh, we'll get pinch hit for in the seventh. And that's one of those things about the all-star game. You're not going to play the whole game. Obviously, you're trying to let everybody have a chance to kind of uh, make a name for themselves in this up or in that game. So um, it's the end of the all-star game. We're going to be backing out here again. Some extra points. Obviously, since it was the all-star game, I think we got like a 250 point bonus or something like that for, for uh, being able to participate in it just because we were voted in. It's like a, it's kind of like a bonus for uh, having a good season that the game gives you. So let's see here. Advance through this. 412. Yep, yeah, 250 points. Make double A all star roster. 412 points. Still waiting for the arm strength to decline. I don't know when that's going to happen. It's, it's got to happen like any day now. Eh, whatever. We'll worry about it in the next episode because. Like I said, this episode is uh, supposed to be a short one. You see, we almost have a thousand training points at this point. Um, if we do happen to uh, have some more good games, we shouldn't be that far away from being able to get both these stats to the 70s. After we get that arm strength up, or if, if that arm strength doesn't cost that much, we'll be able to get our power righty 70 very, very quick. But either way, like I said, that's the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what I could do to make it more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.